Hey guys, today with our brand new subscription box, which is number 53, and it's all about the reveal wheel, we're going to be making this card. Now, this is a really lovely, fun card that you can be making, and we're going to use all the elements from the subscription box. Now, we need to start at the beginning with the card blank, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do here is I've taken one of the 5x5 five five card blanks that come included, and what I've also done is I've taken one of the 8x8 eight eight pattern papers. I've cut it down to 4 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters. And then I've taken one of the colour card, cut that down to 4 and a half by 4 and a half. And what you'll see that I've already lightly done, I'll do it again just to show you, from edge to edge I'm putting a little pencil line so that I can find the centre of my card mat. And then all that I'm going to do is with a little sponge mat or something soft with my pokey tool, I'm going to pop a little hole into the middle that we can see here. Don't worry about the pencil lines, they won't be seen, but you can uh, rub them out with an eraser if you so wish. So now that I've done that, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take some of the dies that you get within the set here. Now you've got a couple of odd looking ones. Now this one here that you can see it's sort of like a little banner. Where I've put that little piercing hole, there's like a little V in the bottom of that die. So that's going to go right to that center point that I punched a little hole. And I'm going to line that up so it's straight and then once it's straight, I'm then going to stick it down with a little bit low tack tape. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this die. To make it easier for myself, I'm going to bring it on sideways. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that parallel as well. If you want to do that as a pencil line, you can. But as long as it's parallel to the little hole you've punched, absolutely brilliant. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this one through my midi. Now, for this size, you'll need to use either the midi or the junior or, of course, anything larger. It doesn't have to be the Gemini range as long as it is A5 or larger. So once we have die cut that out, what we are left with is two little apertures. So I'm carefully going to peel that away. And what you're left with is this. Now I'm going to bring this one that I've already done. The only difference I've done is pop three little dew drops at the top corner and I've already popped foam pads, one in each corner and that's quite essential. So what I can then do is bring them ones in and we can see that's the basis ready to go. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of our white multi-purpose cardstock. I'm sure many of you have got that at home. And we're going to bring in this circle die. This is the reveal wheel. So we're going to pop that one on. And once again, with low tack tape, I'm just going to secure that into the middle here. And then what I'm also doing is bringing in a little piece of scrap multi-purpose card. And this is where we have got this little plastic stencil. That can go to the side. This one can go through our midi. And once again, with the size of this one, goes through the midi or larger. So as we feed this one through, I can then move that back to the side. I can open this one up, and it's all about the reveal. So what we're left with is four little triangles. You'll see little indents once you've done it at home. They look like embossed lines, but they don't need to be embossed, so don't worry about that emboss factor. And then with this one, all that I'm going to do, once again, using a pencil, I'm going to hold that into place and I'm going to draw around. And I'm going to draw around the outside, work my way around, and you'll see that there's little dips, little Vs in these two top corners. Follow them and using your scissors, you're going to cut that out and also pop a little hole in the middle. You will also see there's a little hole in your stencil for a pencil mark. Pop that in, do as exactly as I've done, and then what we're left with is two circles with our little holes in the middle. I'm going to set that to the side, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my stamping mat, my stamping platform, bring this back in, and then we can go in with our stamp set, which is these ones here. Now, what we've got is these four triangles, each with a different sentiment. What you're going to do 
is you're then going to pop one of them onto your stamping platform. I'm going to pop that in towards the middle. I'm using an alcohol ink pad. You could use a quick dry if you so wish. And then what we're going to do is the stamp has a little notch in it, just like the die cut circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that in. I'm going to run that notch parallel to the paper notch, the point of the triangle, and bring it to the point of the circle and stamp in. So we've stamped eat cake. So what we're then going to do is take the next one. So we're doing all four in the exact same way. So we're going to line up. You can use the grids on your stamping platform if you want. Not essential. The main thing is the little notch in the stamp runs parallel to the notch on your die cut circle. So we're going to pop that one in and then we can then press style. Celebrate with style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the next two, which gives us that one. And we're going to bring this one back in. We can take out all these bits now because we don't need these ones. We're now going to go into the decoration. So we've got that one. We're then going to bring back in our elements that we've already pre-done. And then what I'm also bringing in is a little brad. Now, you will need to pop your own ones in. Uh, if you've got Sarah's signature collection, Care and Thoughts, you could be using them. I know you can get them really inexpensively in the dollar store or online. They're tiny, tiny little brads, split pins, some people will call them. And then what we're going to do within this one here is I'm going to pop the brad through the middle of our layer. Now, it just so happens my colour matches. It doesn't have to. You're not going to see the brad, so don't worry what colour it is. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed that one through our stamp circle. Now, can you see the reason I pop the foam pads on each corner is so it doesn't interfere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to bring this little circle that we've done. What we're going to do is feed that one through, and then we're going to press that one into place. So if I hold, you will see that gives us the motion. That little circle we've put just gives it that extra little bit of height. Very, very little bit. It's enough height for you to get that motion of the reveal wheel. And you can reveal all your sentiments. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the backing off my foam pads. And then I'm going to take my pokey tool. I'm going to take the backing off. I've used my tape. You can be using your wet glue, your tape runners, whatever you like, that's up to you. And of course, you can ink the edges if you want. Bring this one in, ready to finish off. We can bring this one in. I'm going to make sure my card's the right way, which it is. That can sit over the top, press, and then, as you can see, we've got that reveal. What I'm going to do is I've brought in a couple of strips from my excess layers of cardstock left over. We're going to decorate that to the side. I can't decide whether we'll go top or we'll go bottom. Let's go right on against the side here. I don't want to cover any of that reveal wheel. We're getting a little bit of decoration popping through the side. And I've got my sentiment. This one I've already pre-stamped and matte and layered, as you can see. And then what I've done, taken a bit of Nina cardstock, or you could use your multi-purpose card, stamped out that little party hat, which, of course, you have got included within your stamp set, as well as the cake and champagne glasses. Using my tribe lens, I've coloured these ones in, and we can simply finish this one off now. I'm going to take my foam pads off the back here. I'm going to pop that to the bottom, and this is where I said don't worry about your little brad. That is going to cover the brad. We have got make a wish, we've got eat cake, dance on the tables, drink Prosecco, celebrate in style. So that is one card that you can be making using our brand new subscription box number 53, which is all about the reveal wheel.